What's up, y'all? Bam, bro. <laughs> in the real. So, as you all know, um, well, some of you, I recently graduated from OCS um, April 30th, um, and it was a great day. Very exciting moment. Um, uh, the true beginning of embarking um, on a new journey as a, you know, leadership role in the Army. So, very excited about it. I am currently at um, Ordnance Bullock uh, here at uh, the ALU in Virginia at Fort Lee. So initially I was supposed to start in August, um, but now I'll be finishing in August. Actually a day after my birthday is when I'll be graduating, so that's going to be awesome. I'll be finishing up uh, August 27th, so that'd be real cool. And uh, I know my next duty station. So I was able to select that, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, but yeah, so for those of you who are wondering how it is here at Fort Lee uh, attending Bullock, let me tell you. So far, so good. Um, the first three weeks or the first two weeks we did online. So we had to be in Zoom classes. Um, now this. In our technologically advanced society, there are some things that just don't need to be conducted on life. And get what? I feel like this is one of those this this is one of those things. But unfortunately, uh, I feel like we're still getting some like um, COVID out of our system here, and things are slowly but surely changing in terms of the way things are being conducted. But First two weeks were online, it was a lot of information. It was difficult um, to sit through, especially when you're at home and you're comfortable and you know, it's a lot of PowerPoints and reading off the PowerPoints. Uh, it depends on the instructor though. You know, some stuff is interesting, some stuff isn't. No matter how good the instructor is, if the material is just not interesting, sometimes you, it's easy to drift off. But so the first two weeks of class were conducted on Zoom. And then after that, uh, we are in class. This is our first week in class and it's much better. I'm someone who enjoys the classroom anyway. I enjoy uh, education and learning and being in a educational environment. So it's pretty cool. We haven't done anything of note as of yet. So we're just starting, everybody's getting their feet wet. Uh, it's a lot of administrative things going on right now in terms of getting paperwork and cat cards together and um, things things of that nature. So uh, if you're curious about uh, housing, I would suggest that if you can get you get yourself a place off base, I would say that's probably your best bet um, because there are still a lot of restrictions going on on base and um, that's not something I wanted to be a part of, so I am quite grateful that I was able to find a place off base, and um, it's it's really nice. Um, haven't been able to do much either because we can only go so far because we have to be prepared to go in if they uh, call on us, call for us at a moment's notice. So I think that's something too that you need to be aware of when you do have uh, restraints. Make sure you're following the rules and make sure you're in pocket because if they call you to roll call or they have some sort of, uh, you know, surprise meeting um, and you have to be like on base in a moment's notice, make sure you're there because it, the whole purpose is they're trying to keep uh, track of you. And uh, if they tell you not to leave the state, don't leave the state. Don't drive three hours away to, to North Carolina. Um, or don't drive six hours away to Atlanta because if you can't get back, it's a problem. So just follow the rules. What else? It's not really much going on. Um, oh, so this general came to, so it's always interesting to me to compare speakers, not necessarily in terms of uh, ranking like who's best or anything of that nature, just like the information the knowledge they, that they impart upon us is very different. So you can always tell when uh, someone has given a speech, you know, a million times over 
it's they're comfortable doing it um they just fly through it. it's not really something that they think about it doesn't ring of uh substance just because you can tell they're kind of reciting it but when you have someone who comes in and they are actually giving you nuggets and sure that you take notes you know they always tell us if someone comes in a lieutenant colonel or a general uh, comes in you take notes and this is probably the first time that i actually took real notes because something was being said uh that was of note so uh i was able to get him uh, a copy of my book and in exchange for my book i was able to get a coin um it's very cool very happy about that it's a very nice coin and uh that's much better than money so i'm very proud of my book happy of my accomplishment and that right there you know is way better than a few dollars so i appreciate that um make sure fitness is something that you're keeping up on your own of course there's going to be group fitness but do a little bit more if you can uh, it's always nice to be in shape it's important to be in shape mission ready right um what else nothing much going on ladies if you come here and you have natural hair i suggest that you download uh, this is for black females. I I can only, you know, I got black hair uh, and sometimes it's difficult to manage. If you know, then you know. But I would suggest getting the Style Seat um, app. And, uh, you know, whenever you go from place to place, you can get on that app and find stylists in your area uh, who meet the criteria that you're looking for. Like if you want braids, if you want twists or whatever, natural hair, uh, you know, for if you're into whatever you want. It's always someone you can find who does that. So Style Seed, and it's a, mil a gazillion people here, okay, in Virginia who do hair. It's always going to be someone. You'll find someone. Now, you may not get them on the date that you want, but eventually you'll get seen. So uh, there you go. Um, great thing about being out of OCS is I can cook now. So that's that's a real treat for me because I miss cooking. That's it, you guys. I don't have anything else. Um, as it progresses, I'll try my best to like record something here and there. Uh, but yeah, just checking in. See how you guys are doing. If you have any questions or you, you want something specific uh, answered about OCS or about uh, basic training or about here, um, just about the area or what to expect or what I did when I first got here in terms of how I signed in. Anything, anything. I don't know. Questions. People come up with these questions for you. So I'm pretty sure someone has them. Feel free to uh, leave something in the chat or I don't know how you can, you don't get personal messages on here. I think uh, most people, if they have questions, they've been sending them to my Instagram. So I have an open page. Feel free to shoot me a, a message and uh, I'll respond as soon as I can and as best as I can. So you guys take care now, fine folks. And I wish you all the best in your journey. If you are going to um, OCS or whatever, whatever you're doing, I wish you all the best. And uh, I'm about to get up out of here. Cause I'm about to enjoy the rest of my evening because this is the first day that we've uh, been able to get a get out a little bit early and uh, chill out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yep, talk to you guys later.